Hi folks, welcome back. So uh, in the last session we discussed how ROS topics work, so how we can um, send information over the ROS topic channel uh, from one node to another. And I briefly discussed also the um, publisher subscriber principle uh, which on which the um, ROS communication is based on. So today I will um, show you how to really program a node in C++ and I will show you how to define a subscriber and a publisher and we do this um, by simply subscribing to, um, to the autometry topic of our simulation environment and then publishing back a visual visualization marker topic um, for then visualizi visualizing these autometry uh, post information into our um, kind of map, um, which we then can uh, see in Arvis. So let's start. So um, I'm back in my uh, ROS repository here. <clears throat> so we are back here in our um, diff drive workspace. And then source, then in our diff drive robot repository, and here are our packages. So we have our simulation environment package, and we have our commander package. And today I won't uh, change anything in uh, the simulation environment. Today we will add in the commander package our visualization node. Okay, let's go into this. So I already um, generated everything, and I will now go through uh, all the files with you. So we are starting by the source fo folder here and the source folder contains the C++ uh, file which is basically the node we want to create. So I called this node or the C++ file diff drive with for diff drive visualization. Um, let's have a look into it. Okay, here we are. So um, first of all we have some description in this case. In this case, it's a visualization node for the differential drive robot. Then we have to include something. So I include the ROS ROS H um, and also the NAV message autometries. So the autometry messages and the marker messages. So these are the messages um, from our topic which we want to subscribe with this node, and these are the messages which uh, from the topic. Uh, or for the topic uh, which we want to publish. Okay, that's basically it, what we have to include for this node. Then in general I define a class, so I call the class visualizer, visualizer and it has the public uh, function callback autometry. And this autometry function uh, will do the following, it gets always activated later uh, when a new message appears in the topic, so in the autometry topic, and then everything in the function will be executed. And then of course we have here um, also the constructor of the class. And then we define some private variables, in this in our case it's the subscriber on the publisher. Again I want to remind you if you want to program this please just stop the video and type it up, type it down to your own file. So in the first step we define the um, constructor. In the constructor in this case we only have to initialize the subscriber and the publisher. And the publisher we in initialize by um, using the node handle and then defining based on the node handle a subscriber by uh, typing into it subscribe then we define the topic name to which we want to subscribe. In our case it's Autometry, so uh, in, in our case it's Autumn. Then we define the queue size, so basically uh, we will store 20 messages and if our queue is overflowed then we um, throw away the uh, oldest message and put in the new one. Um, then we have to define the um, callback function on which we uh, which we want to activate if something uh, new comes in. So in our case it's um, our callback function from above here. 
and then we have to define on uh, which class this is. So this is your own class. Um, so it's simply this. Then we have the publisher. Again, we are using the, ro uh, the note handle. Um, we define a publisher by using um, the code word advertise. Then in these brackets, we define the type of the message of our um, ROS topic. And in our case, we want to have the message visualization messages marker to be published. And then we define again also the topic name. In our case, we simply call it diff drive width. And here again the queue size. There are more options for publisher and subscriber um, to define here. So what I only define here are the um, most important options or, or the, basically the necessary options to define. Um, but if you want to define more options, please have a look into the ROS uh, wiki. Okay, so and then we have to simply define also the callback function. And in the callback function, we always uh, receive the message uh, from the topic. So in our case, it's enough message autometry. And we receive a pointer on this message. And the first thing what I do is I store the, the message in this message variable. And then in the next step, I generate a visualization message, message which I want to um, publish later. So here I generate the visualization message uh, which is later on published and I call this visualization message um, post. Uh, I have to define, define uh, some variables and so on for our visualization message. Uh, for example I have to define the header and the frame ID. So in the header I have to define the frame ID, the stamp, Therefore, I take the ROS time now for the um, frame ID. I simply use a map name and I have to define the namespace here. I have to define the action here. I want to like to add things. Um, I have to define the type. In our case, it's um, an arrow as a type. Then I have to define a post ID. Um, since we have not used any other IDs, I will start simply with zero. Then I have to define the scale of my visualization marker. Um, here I use uh, for x 0 0.5 and for y and z 0 0.1. And I have to define the color. And here I use simply a red color with zero opacity. Uh, so it's completely uh, filled. And then I have to define the post of my marker. And therefore, I simply copy uh, the information I got from the autometry. So these are the information from the autometry: message, pose, pose, position, dot x. And I can simply um, copy this into my marker message. Okay, this is done in this section. And at the end, I will simply publish the visualization message um, by using my variable, my publisher, po dot, and calling the function publish and giving it the object what I want to publish. In this case, our um, visualization marker um, post. Okay, that's basically the definition of the class. And now I have to define the main function as an every C++ file. Um, so, and in the main function ROS, we, uh, so the main function ROS always looks like this. Um, so, this is always the same here. And then I start the node. So I initialize the road and give him a name. So my node will be called um, diff drive visualization. Then I define a ROS node handle for this uh, node. And then I create an instance of the class. So the visualization. And then I simply start the loop. And that's it. And then it spins uh, until eternity, until I break up. Um, the complete ROS master, basically. Okay, that's it. That's what we need for our um, visualization node. Okay, let's have a look on to the rest of the files. So this is what uh, we require to program in C++. Then we have to define our CMakeLists. So it's here quite uh, short. 
we only use ROSCP, ROSPI, okay, we don't need really ROSPI, I like to add it nevertheless. Then we need the both message uh, packages, so left messages and visualization messages. Um, we, need we need to declare also the packages here in the catkin package. Then I have to include these both folders and of course then I had to add the executable here and um, link the executable to my libraries and add some dependencies. Okay, that's it also. Um, remember, we have also here uh, the project name, which is called in our case the commander, so the package name. And then we have the package XML, it's also really short. So again, we have here the package name uh, commander, um, here also maintainer details and so on. Uh, and then we also have here only ROS CPP, ROS Python, NAV messages, uh, visualization messages, and here again. Okay, that's quite simple and quite easy. And now we want to define also a lunch script to both launch our uh, new node and our complete simulation setup. So therefore we simply define this uh, simple lunch script uh, by first starting the differential drive simulation. Therefore, we simply include the launch file from before. So we are searching for our simulation environment package, then uh, going to our launch folder, and then simply starting the diff drive launch. And in the second step, we then start the visualization node uh, here. So the name is a diff drive with, the type is a diff drive with, and the package is a commander. Okay. So let's, uh, I think, let's test this. Uh, let me open, ter let me open up a terminal. So uh, we go into our diff drive workspace. Then we search the environment so that we, uh, we, uh, our Rust program is able to find our launch files. Um, so we are using simply source uh, double setup bash. And now we can simply launch our. Um, our simulation environment together with our newly created Rust node. So let's do this. Uh, it's quite well, it's uh, launched here as we can see. Now let's open up a new terminal. In this terminal I will start Arvis. And as you can see we are now here in Arvis. And I can now here click on Add. And I can go on to By Topic. And you can see we have here um, different things which we, call, which we possibly can uh, visualize. But however, we, we designed here our diff drive with. So this is our topic on what we um, just created. And now we can click here on marker and then OK. And then we got our topic visualized. And as you can see here, there's our red arrow. OK. So far, so good. So, and uh, now let me put this here a bit. Uh, here we are. And then I put this onto the left side. OK. And now let me open up a new terminal. Here we are. And use, therefore, um, again our tiller op, twist keyboard to steer the robot. And as you can see now, the robot moves and our visualization marker moves also. Okay, so um, today I showed you how to build a node in ROS, how to uh, subscribe to some certain topic, how to publish to some certain topic. Um, there are good introduction to this publish subscriber um, principle also in the ROS wiki. I highly recommend to program them too. Um, I showed you here about a more an advanced style because I, or I include everything already in a class system, uh, which is more a bit more um, structured than if we would define publisher and scapsyla directly. Okay. So um hope you learned much today. Uh hope you learned much today and see you next time.